Hello YouTube! Welcome to the unboxing of a cheap radio for the shop. We've been using a transistor radio on batteries. Uh, we've got stereo stuff that's quit on us and everything. We need to radio for the shop. This is on sale. It's like, uh, they call it a Shopco. You ever hear of Shopco stores? Them little whatever stores. If I can get it open again. It's on sale. It's like 31 bucks. So we're going to see what we think here. We can't play it on there because of YouTube, but I love how they package stuff. Well, we're going to do this live. Oh, there's some instructions which I probably won't need. I'll read my instructions. We're going to try to mount it underneath our shelf here. Give you a first hand look of what it looks like. We're never going to use the CD player, so, like I said, we're going to mount it. Mount underneath this counter up here, shelf. So, open. Well, there's the cord. There's the cord, and it runs on probably 6 C batteries times 6. So I could put some batteries in it someday, but just something to listen to the local radio station. So we're going to mount it somehow. I didn't really like the knobs being up here like this. Uh, and digital stuff can suck out in the cold, but... See if we can... And I'll bring you back when I have it mounted. We'll string some wire or strapping or something or build something there. There, get back in frame. Real quick video. This is a cheapy radio. Now I'll let you know what it sounds like. It means we can't play it over the YouTube video. Well, to be honest, the tuning sucks. I mean, you said you turn the tuning knob and it's like, oh boy, it's go a little too far. It's, oh, where, where am I? <laughs> really cheesy. If I could pull the knob off, I'd stick something under to make it harder to turn. But I am impressed with the sound. It sounds like a bigger radio. It might be how they have the speakers. Uh, these are what diameter? Jeez, I'm not prepared. Yeah, they're probably three inch. It measures like three and a half. They're probably only three inch in reality. I never did read that anywhere, the size of the speakers. But I am impressed. I'm thinking about just hanging it off my shelf and once the warranty's up I might drill some holes or something to chop this off and just screw it to the front of my shelf I'm thinking about just hanging it for now but like I said I could just chop up I don't care about CD player uh, it has an mp3 player input and whatever that little thing is to hold the thing there but sorry I can't turn it up for you just don't want to get in trouble there with YouTube, but I am impressed with the sound uh, It's not going to pull in any far away FM stations, which my old radios I could sit out here in the winter time and DX FM there on a snowy day, but It does sound like a bigger radio. I think it's how it's shaped with those speakers. Just got your volume in your Well, don't do that I said, if you can't, it's really hard to pick it up on the camera. It's really cheesy on the tuning. I mean, it's like, oh, 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 where, where is it? Don't, don't touch it. Hey, thanks for watching my review on a cheapy radio. That uh, was $39 on sale, whatever percentage off comes to $29. They took 10 bucks off it. So I wasn't going to pass it up for a $30 radio for the shop. So. Thanks again for watching on this too long a review on a cheap radio.